Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. We got ourselves a jam-packed day today. We got to go get more gas for the welder. That should be kind of expensive. Uh, we got to get more metal supplies, which will definitely be expensive. And then it's back to the shop and we're going to build the strut towers for our rear suspension. Stay tuned. Oh, I almost forgot. It's also trivia day. I know you guys love trivia day. Eighteen more feet of reinforced frame rail for the 240Z project. So uh, we need to build that section that dives down. And we're gonna do that out of some extra beefy stuff. This stuff. Uh, so that was pretty expensive. And then I also got a lot of uh, some one inch to uh, build a really cool thing for the roof of this car. It's gonna be for camping and for drifting. And I bet you guys won't be able to guess how we're gonna use the same thing for both of them. But it should be pretty cool. We're gonna do an episode in the near future on this car. So now we're off to air gas to go get some more gas for the uh, TIG welder. Sixty-three bucks to fill up the tank, not too bad, but that does mean it's about a fifty-dollar mistake every time I leave the tank open overnight, which uh, has happened a lot in the last year. It happened this time again too. I don't know when I'm ever going to learn, but hopefully soon. Uh, but that means we have everything ready, so it's time to. I cannot hit the shop. There's a truck behind me now. I was going to say it's time to hit the shop. Okay, now it's time to hit the shop. All right, let's get down to work making some strut towers. Where are my arts and crafts supplies at? I uh, bought these things. They're they're pretty pretty big, and they're to make templates out of. And I cannot believe that I lost them. How do you lose? They're they're huge. I finally found it. It was all on top of the roof. Who remembers this stuff from third grade science class? Fourth grade science class? Whatever, you know, science. Uh, this is foam core or foam board, and it's like cardboard, but it, it holds its shape a little bit better, and it's a lot straighter, and tape sticks to it really nicely, so it'll bond, we can, we can tape it to things. Uh, I'm gonna build the structure that we're gonna build for the strut tower out of this first, and then we'll use those as templated pieces before we cut the metal. The game plan for this is a three-sided pyramid. Kind of, we're gonna go up here, up here, down there, flat piece on top. That's a game plan. I've seen it work on other vehicles and I think it's gonna be a good shape for this one. It won't look super impressive, but we're not trying to impress anybody with this stuff in the back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to measuring and cutting out of the foam core and we'll see if we can build a good looking shape and then transfer it to the middle. That's some good quality arts and crafting right there. So it's starting to take shape. Now you can see that we got this gap down here on the bottom, that will not stand. And then we have a little mismatch on the top here. It's hard to see because it's all white. But the idea is I cut this thing extra tall so we could shave away the bottom until that kind of fl would flow right into that railing. So we got to take away a lot of that space right there on the flat. So I'll start by cutting away a little bit and then we'll hit it with the belt sander. You can actually sand away on this stuff and that'll figure out the bottom there and then we'll make it match up with the top there and we'll have our first two pieces and that'll kind of guide the placement of the rest of them. So that's it, that's the design of our strut towers. Uh, you can see how, what I was talking about, about how it kind of sinks in over here. This will give us a lot more, you know, room to weld into the frame and everything like that, a lot stronger bond. And then once we have this, obviously we can do strut tower connectors, we can go from one to the other. We can do more supports, like say from that corner down to there, once we get the body on and verify that it's not gonna get in the way. I've measured from this point across to that point over there, made sure that the body will fit. It'll fit just fine. But what I'm saying is we can reinforce it more as we see fit if we need to going different directions. But again, 
This is the rear strut tower. It doesn't really take as much weight and as much punishment as the front strut tower often does in a car like this. So the next thing is to go ahead and transfer this over to steel. Let me show you the steel I have for this. Here's the steel that I picked up for the strut tower project. I actually picked up four of these, which is incredibly overkill considering I think we only used one piece of that stuff. So I bought um, at least twice the amount of material that we need, but oh well. It's nice and thick, very sturdy, but I don't want to use too much of it because it adds a lot of weight to the vehicle. Uh, but we do need nice, thick, sturdy material to do this project. So uh, next thing will be to peel these apart very carefully and then transfer them over to here, trace them and cut them out with the cutoff wheel. This will probably be a good solid hour of cutting right here. We've done it, an hour and a half later and I've got all the pieces cut. So we got our side piece there, our front and rear piece there, and our top piece right there. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove all the tape from the frame and start making sure things fit up nicely. And I think I'm just gonna do a test, kind of very light tacking of everything together and we'll see how it looks. We'll get it all built as a structure. Okay, well it might not look too exciting to me. This is a big moment. We got our first strut tower in the car. It's just one more piece that makes it look more like a car frame than just a bunch of metal welded together. Uh, you're gonna see this lip here on the top. That is kind of as designed. I'm gonna tack, this plate is at a very strange angle. It's not parallel to anything else on the car. So what I was gonna do is kind of like how I have these tacks here, add a couple more tacks and then come in with a flap disc and sand everything down to meet up with this and then we'll zip it all the way around. But overall, it looks pretty cool. I think that this design is gonna really hand itself to uh, to be strong, I think it's gonna be nice and, and good for the car. Like it's it's shallow, I know, it's not really kind of as deep as you might think it would go, but that we need that for the body to fit over. Uh, but I think it looks cool. Like I said, I didn't I didn't come up with this design on my own. I took it from a off-road truck company that, that builds things like this. So I think it'll be nice and strong. And then obviously we can do a support from the top of here over to the top of there that will keep uh, horizontal strength. And then we can do supports coming off of here down to frame rails down here, which will also, you know, really strengthen it up. So it's not the end of, of that. That's not all there is really. So anyways, tomorrow what we'll do is we'll clone these pieces and then um, flip them over to the other side and build the one for the other side. And soon, soon we're gonna do like the permanent welding up of everything, which will be really exciting. But for now, I gotta get to trivia. I really hate being the dirtiest guy at trivia, but this week it's really bad. I burnt so many holes in all my clothes right here from all that grinding. And then I burnt all the arm hair off of my arm from a welding flare up. I am a mess this week. Downforce is impeccable. I'm running a little bit late, a lot, a lot of bit late. I'm like 15 minutes late already. Uh, and my house is my house is kind of on the way, like not not it's 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 in the same direction. And I really I know that I have two cupcakes sitting on a counter in my house. I really, really want to stop and get him on the way. But then I'm going to be even more late. Oh, hi. I remember I had a brownie too. Which I feel like validates my decision. I got to finish before I go in and I'll make a share. I feel like it's in the team's best interest because I got to keep my mind on the trivia. I can't be thinking about the cupcakes back home. I right, just one left. A little sugar helps keep the brain right for the question. Hey babe. Sorry I'm late. Traffic is crazy. I I could eat. Yeah, cheers. 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 We got a team name? Oh. No, I your job. Dynamite go? Dynamite go.
So we ended up getting third, but we won five dollars and we got the most funny answers, so we got a ton of candy. Not a not a complete loss. Not even a loss at all. Yeah, yeah. Top three, top three's good. Yeah. That's a podium. That's about it guys. That's it for the night. We got third place, which I already told you guys. Next week. Next week I'm going for first. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in some some backup hitters, some real trivia experts, and I, I think we can get a first. Judging by the competition, I don't, I don't think it's that hard. I think we can win. Uh, as you saw today, we got our first strut tower done on the rear end. That lays down the blueprint for the next one. So uh, tomorrow, we'll bust out that next one. And I'm setting a goal. So tomorrow's my episode leading into the weekend, which I obviously take the weekends off. So I have a nice long day to work in the shop. So we're going to put in a huge, huge day of the shop. And I'm going to try as hard as physically possible to hit my goal which is going to be to have everything bolted up everything that needs to be welded up welded up everything bolted up everything ready to go and you should see a thumbnail picture of that rear suspension literally sitting in our tube frame chassis that is my goal i think it's totally possible i'm really really inspired to hit the shop really hard tomorrow so that's the game plan thank you guys so much if you want to help out and support check out beastforbuild.com we got some of these shirts minus the um uh cupcake crumbles and uh we have some of the other shirts in stock as well soon and we are coming out with new merch uh as we speak my first day off which is i don't know the day after tomorrow i will be working on more merch designs we got the hat already busted out and we're going to keep working on some other stuff uh to have for you guys really soon and if you want to find us in more places, check us out on Twitch. I will definitely be on there this weekend. I'll be streaming on Twitch, so you guys can check us out there. It's uh, twitch.tv slash BS for Build. All right, I will see you guys then. So Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!